Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Rim World of Magic. 1.1. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. See, we got this. We do. So it's supposed to be Rim World Royalty of Magic. I like Rim World of Magic better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's better that way. Um, we have our first building. We are working on our second building. We're also working on some walls to help us feel okay. I'm really good at, at building walls with my eyes closed, apparently. And eating pemmican without tables. That's all right. We got time. We need to set up our little little base of operations. I was wondering why I was already awake, but I I'm a quick sleeper. I I sleep less. Slept in the cold. Slept on the ground. Awful barrack. Yeah, I get all that. Part of the reason we need to get some hunting done is so we can butcher, which will allow us to make sleeping bags. Which, you know, it's not the preferable life, but it's the life we're living right now. Nice herbal medicine, by the way. Has a new texture, I like it. Dude, look at all the fish. We got koi, we got piranha, we got eels. And of course we have those perch over there. They are going to die and degenerate real soon. But I guess that is what it is. Okay, that's cool. This is apparently really good at getting his, uh... Getting his fishing on. Thank you for getting that nice corner done. Sai, I much appreciate it. The building itself is done. We still need to eventually put flooring in there. Coral flagstone. Coral blocks. I don't know where you think I get coral blocks from, but I don't have any. Okay, lots of things have to be happening in here. So we're just going to start, like, real simple. Let's get a table in here so that we can eat with table. Do we have enough ironwood for an ironwood table? No, we don't. As far as we know. Um, we'll just do a wooden table then. Yeah, we need, we need to get some basics done here. And then some stools. It's more than we need, but it's it's, it's a start, you know? Yo! About to get us some grapes. I like it. I love it. I want a little bit more of it. Yeah, see, we're hanging out. We're having a good time. I'm nice. We're already at like negative seven, and negative seventeen. But uh, that's all right. We're, we're we're getting it together here. We're having having a decent time. Yarrow material, huh? Also known is known as herbal militaris for its use in staunching the blow, flow of blood from wounds. It can also be used as animal feed. Sai <laughs> and Reynold talk deeply about ethnicity. Why is there no limestone chunk in this section of wall? That's weird. That's really weird looking. Anyway. We're having a good time. We're having thought bubbles. People are talking. We got uh, Dismas talking about fighting coyotes with Volpe. I don't know if she's impressed. Probably not. There's the uh, Minotaur. I don't know if he... If she's impressed. Excuse me. It's a female wild Minotaur. I don't know if she's impressed. Yeah, we got more wood, yeah? Yeah, we got more wood. Yeah, was, we got 600 wood on the map. We got plenty of wood. That's really good. Wood is good. Let's finish the flooring over here, then. Uh, get me, you know, do me some horizontal planks in here. You know what? Let's not even make them rough. Let's make them basic. Give me some basic-ass planks as we get our colony up and running. All right, I'm not going to build more wall after this for a while. Because this took a while, and I don't know if it was worth it. Can I see the, um... What is this? Show natural light. Neat! I use for the windows. Um... Fertility overlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, there's, there's the fertile stuff. Okay. So this would become, ideally, a growing area. But yeah, can you... Can you replace already built areas with walls? Windows, I mean? You can! Dude, I love it! All right, so we would put a window here, a window here, and then Sai doesn't get a window. Sorry, dude. Uh, <laughs> but over here, you would like... How come I can't put a window here? Oh, I wouldn't get any natural light from it because of the area there. Yeah, I get that. Okay. So it would be better than to put the window here and here. Okay. Cool. 
Conceptually, I'm loving it. E-recreation variety. Ah, right, right, right. Let's go ahead and get a hoop stone. You gotta have your hoop stone, after all. We've lost some piranhas. I don't really care. I mean, Dismas is already, like, a master fisherman. You get any kind of skill from doing this? Yes, he actually works on his animal skill from doing this. Huh. In that case, Volpi should be doing some fishing, too. Uh, and she does. Okay, it is her, one of her priorities. Good. Good, good, good. Jolly well good. You can't just tell him to fish, though. Don't arrest Dismas, please. We're not... We're not at that point yet. But we're getting some construction done. We're getting some things done over here. I guess I would want to extend this over that way a little bit more so I can turn this into a relatively safe growing zone. But eventually, we're going to have enemies. You know this. I know this. We all know this. We just have to be somewhat prepared. Alright, I don't know what we're making the actual window out of, and I don't know if I care. So, once everything's said and done... Oh, we could specify to the mercenary which unit to protect. Oh, I could have Reynold be my literal guard. That's neat. That's really neat. So, I think, yeah, once we have something established here, Reynold can just become the freaking guard of the place. That's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. I assume we don't need to butcher the eels. I'm assuming that... We could just cook them. So we're going to need a, a stove. And it's going to have to be a fueled stove. We don't have, really have an option for anything else right now. So that's what we're going to build. I mean, I guess there's a smokehouse. You have no usable materials from which to build this. You need wood, steel, and granite. I guess you don't need granite. You can build it out of something else. But we would need something for steel. Which means we need steel. Which, if you can't tell, the bottom line is we need some steel. Uh, actually, I can just do this now. Yes, my favorite order. Mine all the steel. Beautiful. Who mines in this day and age? I mine. Though both Dismas and Reynold are also interested in mining, but they're not good at it. Oh no, Sai. Gooped up the window. That's okay, though. We got it the second time. Yo, that is cool. So now if I hit this, yeah, there's natural light in a couple of tiles into the room. That is cool, man. I like that. I like that a bit. At least a little. At least a little bit. Am I building the table? No, I'm not building the table. I'm building horizontal planks. No, I think I am building the table. It's just an educated guess at this point, though. Yeah, look at the the, the... the freaking... The window, man! It's good! Don't eat my dragon egg, you stinky dog. Um, I'm sorry, Link. I didn't mean to call you stinky. I do have to keep an eye on him, though. Oh, wait. Is Bond of the Rain all? Alright. Yeah. Wait. Uh, anyone can be your handler, but uh, Rain old is your master. I assume that means anyone can do the actual taming? Follow Master while Master is drafted? Nah, let's not do that. But you can follow while he's doing field work. That's fine. What is this? Adult? Male? Adult. I don't know why the age shows twice, but okay. Uh, wool progress, milk progress, expected meat amount, slaughter button, medical care, allowed area... Allowed hunting? Assisted hunting. Allowed to help other predators hunt. Oh, that's interesting. Predator will hunt only selected prey. Hmm. Uh, secured hunting. Allow predator to hunt prey at the same strength or weaker. If disabled, they can hunt stronger only if total strength of helping predators is stronger. Oh, wow. So they can pack hunt. And then allow to kill. Man, that is a lot of extra... There's a lot of extra. Dismas is at a minor break risk already. But his mood's gonna go back up, so he'll bounce back. He's fine. Yeah, the barrack is still awful. This does not surprise me. It is very ugly and very dirty. It's But it's somewhat spacious, so that helps. We'll have... You know... You know me. 
If this isn't your first round of RimWorld, you know me. You know I'm going to build them houses eventually. And it's going to be good. Presumably. I hope. <laughs> but we'll see. Alright. Wake up, me. You've slept long enough. We know you... We know you sleep less than anyone else in this planet. That's right. In the planet, on the planet, around the planet... Of the planet. Oh, hey, the but I did get the table done, so that's nice. How's this room? Dull. Beautiful. What the hell is this? Chinchona bark? Bark taken from the chinchona tree. Otherwise known, referred to as quinine. Oh. Okay. Neat. There's a lot of new plants. Nettle leaves, wormwood, sunflowers. I mean, who even saw such a thing? A flower with the power of the sun? That's just wacky. Yeah, I might be memeing you a little bit there. Uh, we are probably going to need some passive coolers. I mean, it, it's not efficient enough to refrigerate, so we need some options for that. The problem is... The medieval mod that used to have refrigeration technology was not updated to 1.1. So... I don't know if there's another option for that somewhere down here. Ooh, we can learn traditions. Requires a Liani researcher, but you can learn how to make a Liani throne. Oh, that's neat, man. Um, archivist stuff. Auto vats. Wine brewing. Dude. I'm so happy I brought Sai on in, online. Yo, Mediterranean life. Make salads, animal products. Yo, this is all like one point of research? I mean, to be fair, it costs 5000 But, yeah, artichokes, grapes, clines. That's neat. Holograms, which probably shouldn't be here. Uh, wallpapers, neat. Rugs, monuments. Yeah, I, I assume that is just a mod that's not compatible. That's okay, I just won't research it. That's easy. Uh, carvings, pottery, obelisk. I mean, I might still. Cultivated soil with compost. Hell yeah. Composting. Glassworks. Yo. Build better windows? Yeah, large windows, reinforced windows. Now you're talking. Light armor? Ooh. Yeah, orcas. Um, ballistas? Mechanical weaponry? Uh, Scorpio. Oh, okay. It just looks like a regular turret. Gotcha. Segmented armors? Yeah, baby. Chain armors and scale. Pull arms. Uh, plasteel creation. Probably don't... Ha shouldn't have that one either. Steel creation. Now that's one we should have. Bronze creation. Ooh. Water cooling. Water wait, 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 wait. Uh, water flows, cools rooms, and hires, hires its cleanliness. Okay. Fountains. Okay, cool. Mending, tonics, ointments, elixirs, herbals, salts, extracts, powders, charcoal, tallow, herbalism yields, herbalism complex, herbalism intermediate, etc., etc., longbows, crossbows, hell yeah. Multi shot crossbows? Sweet. Advanced melee weapons? Dude. Basic tools? Ooh, that's nice. Probably. Extra flowers, candy, hyperweave, synth thread. I mean, yeah. Fermenting. Dwarven goods? Heck yeah, dude. Dwarven wine. Uh, biome plants. Ambrosia. Agriculture, agriculture, agriculture. Military clothing. Sterile attire. Work attire. I mean, a lot of this... May not fit exactly, but it fits well enough. Bracers of the Pacifist. Ring of Keen Intellect. Yo. Magical Equipment. Brumbo Axes. A Cloak of Supremacy. Ancient Mail. I mean, damn. Lots of magic crafting. Scribing? You can learn to scribe spells. Sweet. Oh, that's awesome. Enchanting, forge replication, 
Extract designs from any craftable item and duplicate it at the forge. Dude! Arcane forge? Cultivation? Mana storage? Portals? Magic circles? Power management? <laughs> management software? We're probably just going to stick with the basic one. Sloops? Canoes? Galleons? Caravels? Fishing boats? Can you actually fish with this? Because if you can, that's awesome. Designed for caravans with limited space. Probably won't be using blast doors, but hinges and gates we will. Probably won't be using repulsor technology or rail... Why? Where did these come from? I don't even remember what mod. Uh, not that it matters too much. Uh, we basically won't be... Oh, it, it literally says up here. Yeah. Wow, you can't even cut out your own... Okay. Look, Oscar's not a perfect modder. Apparently he forgot how to limit medieval technology within his own mods, but okay, that's fine. We just aren't gonna research these. We're gonna go by the honor system and try to avoid just using those. Which means we have to skip quite a few things here. But that's okay. Yeah, all of our research is still here. Which is weird. Maybe, maybe it does go by the honor system. I don't know. Because, yeah, all of our, all the advanced research is still here. So I'm thinking maybe it just prevents everyone else from using that stuff? Is that how you do, dude? Most factions and all research will be limited. Uh, override. Hide finished. Hide locked. Yes. That might do it. Because now I have a lot less here. So maybe they're locked. Maybe. I don't know. Gunpowder? You know what? Gunpowder makes sense. It actually even says it's medieval. So we can get primitive guns. I mean, how else is Dismas going to Dismas? He can't have his flintlock. But no, I'm still seeing some industrial stuff in here. So I'm not 100% sure. Either way, this room is coming together. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I used to have a little thing down here that told me the quality of the room, but apparently that disappeared. Um, can I see the quality of this room, please? Apparently not. Does it not work because of the window? Does the window make the qual room quality in a thing not work? Or is it because there's an actual opening here? Oh, do it! I'm dumb. Once again, I have been stricken with the dumb. Don't mind me. All right, but we are growing. We got a lot of food. Holy crap, we have kale out the wazoo, dudes. Ty, can you... We don't, because we, we're lacking wood. But now we're not. Thank you, Volpe. I know there's more wood on the map. Come on, don't insult me. There's 500 wood laying around on the map. 500 of it is... Okay. Uh... Apparently, we had a lot of stuff that was unallowed. Unforbid all items, please. Thank you. That was my mistake. <laughs> it's 500 woods. Pretending it didn't exist. There it is. Fudge. I, I can hear you right now. Type one away. Oh, that. You classic cad, you. You goddamn moron. <laughs> Let's wait until we have guest beds. Oh god, what have I done? Okay, we have that. Now we need stockpile zone down here. I'm just gonna put it right... Actually, no, I'm not gonna do it. Let's let's do this at least somewhat properly here. Um, but we can't because I don't have the space or I don't have the research for it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I can't... I don't have storage. I don't have shelves yet. Frig. Okay. We need to learn how to make shelving. I guess for now what we'll do is let Volpe go ahead and yeah, get that together. And then we'll just put food over here on the side. Uh, clear all. Except for raw food, but not fertilized eggs. But also meals, yes. Also pemmican. Ammonia treated Huh. Make it more edible. Interesting. Alright. 
We got bills. Yes, we do. We got bills. How about you? God, I love having Dubs Mint menus back. You don't even know. Yo, we can make nigiri and calcium carbonate. In this day and age? Go ahead and make me some simple... What is this? Beauty pretty. Oh, you can, like, decide what your what you're kind of stressing on when it comes to making those. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. All right. I think we're doing all right. We've got a lot of food. Probably too much. I'm going to lower the priority of this zone, though, so that we will move the food inside. Preferably soon. Hey, you got a dead ram. We should probably set up an area to carve it up in the stuffs. And I'm going to put that outside. I know we have a work speed penalty outside, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. All right, we don't have any granite blocks. Duh, we don't have a blockery yet, Pet. How are you going to make granite blocks without a blockery? We need a blockery. <laughs> we need to research the blockery before we can make a blockery. So we need another we need another room so we can make a research room. All right. It's coming together. Oh, it's all coming together. Okay? Don't you even fret. I'm going to extend this room a little bit to make a research room. Build a Yeah, let's put it right here. Uh and also replace one of these with a window. There you go. Hey, you can open or close the window, too. Neat. Very neat. Give us some flooring in here. We'll go with some rustic. And once that's done, we just put the research bench in there. I'm doing a little bit of mining. It's nice, nice. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Ray Ray's looking good. Everyone's looking good. We need defenses, apparently, because pirate raids are going to start soon. Like sandbags and traps. I mean, yeah, sandbags are possible. Barricades are also possible. And that's probably, like, the best starting point is going to be barricades. I don't know if we'll be able to eventually get embrasures or not. I don't remember. Uh, what, is, what is hidden? This, I guess that just clears out the search. Maybe we will eventually be able to. But for now, we just kind of have to live with what we got. You know? I don't want to get water cooling. Because I think the fountain is neat. An ammonia passive cooler. To improve evaporation rates. It is slightly more smelly as a result. I would imagine. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. The, uh, the Minotaur, she's hanging out. I think that's good. This cougar's been damaged. Because it took out a timber wolf. It did get a bite. Hmm. What are you? Megaloshilis. Oh, it's a giant turtle! The largest tortoise of all time. I want it. I want it immediately. Someone make this happen. Meganuria. All right, I, I think I looked at you before. Dude, so many new animals. It's so great. Nothing else new yet, though. Dude! Megafauna! I want the giant turtle. I want it very badly. I want all of your giant turtles, please. All right, we have a couple hundred steel. It's pretty great. This wall is done. We have a dumping stockpile zone, which explains where the uh, where the Ibex Ram Corpse came in. I'm not mad. I'm not even complaining. It's good. Uh, we have some copper over here, which is good to note. Most we have hiding. More steel, which is good. And lucky, probably. The Cowering Baroness. Okay. Arthusa 
Kortikos, a baroness of the fallen empire, is calling from nearby. She's being followed by an angry Persian cat. She only wanted to see the landscape, but uh, she never expected such a deadly threat. Yeah, we can probably keep her safe for a little while, get the title of Yeoman. We can learn some psychic abilities. Look, this is the closest we have to magic, okay? I'm accepting it. Hello, Arethusa. Welcome. Nice hat, by the way. Oh, we can't make her use her royal aid. She's a baroness. She's departing in three hours. She has no weapons on her. She does have a lot of spells. Invisibility, wall rays, vertigo pulse. What is vertigo pulse? Interfere with the spatial orientation of everyone near the target point, causing loss of balance. Yeah. And a stun. All right, here's the angry Persian cat. It is weak, but it appears to be highly motivated. Aw, we're gonna have to kill it. It's kind of cute, but uh, Reynold, I hear you. Reynold, don't care. Get everyone over here. Ooh, look at the formation we can do. Get over here. That's neat. So is the wall raise. Um, it is illegal for you to use a wall raise? Because you're not a dame? Or a praetor? Or a baronet? What? But you're a baroness! I'm so confused. Alright. Whatever, I guess. Uh, yeah, we, we'll line up. Don't worry, we'll take on this deadly cat for you. Worst case scenario, rain all goes nuts. Or, or that goes nuts. Worst case scenario, someone goes nuts. So here it comes. I don't know who's got the best range here, but it looks like it's going to be Dismas and Sai. They're aiming. They're firing. The arrows are... He just flipped his bow, dude. Alright. Yeah, that stab with a peeler will do it. Nice job, team. Sorry, cat. But uh, you, you made this person mad for the last... She's not in a good mood. She's an undergrounder, and she has noble expectations. Well, you can leave in an hour, so you're going to be fine. You're really going to spend that hour digging at compacted steel? I'm not going to complain, milady. Ooh, 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 Valfi came near the wild minotaur while talking to herself about uh, roulette. Talk to herself about tooks. Mmm. Yeah, roulette. Tooks. Gently touch the minotaur. You know you want to join. We have pomegranates. Yes, we do. We have pomegranates. 5.8% chance. Ah. Well, it's a start, you know? The shuttle has arrived. Okay, perfect. Look. We are medieval. You don't have to be medieval. Alright, and plus I want your psychic powers. The psychic amplifier... Wow. This thing is big enough to kill and eat a timber wolf? Oh, no, this is the one that died to the cougar, isn't it? Yeah. Um, look, man. The psychic powers can be medieval-based. They're not dropping off a piece of technology. It's actually just a piece of... It's, just, it's, 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 a, it's a magic thing. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Get the hell out of here. Auto-load... Send. Alright. Quest completed. Title rewards. We got a psychic amplifier. That is now a yeoman. He's also a free holder, but if he dies, this title will be inherited by Reynold. Okay. This is all news. Yeah, as far as I know, you know, According to the laws, you must have the title of Yeoman to use this. Each time we use a side cast above the above level, the Exodus Empire will detect its psychic signature and will lead to diplomatic consequences. A silencer implant would allow the use of the amplifier without detection. See, that, that doesn't sound like magic. Not really. It sounds like... I, mean, I meant to say that doesn't sound like technology, it sounds like magic. I had that backwards. Take that, reverse it, okay? We've learned Pain Block. 
allow a person to move and even act with grievous injuries which would normally incapacitate them. That sounds like not useful, but cool. I mean, it, it, yeah, it would definitely have its uses, okay? I get it. You get it. We all get it. So four get it. Give me your finest wooden stool right here, and then we can start researching. And that's when life is going to start popping. You'll see. That's going to be it for this episode of That Plays Rim World of Magic. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because it's going to keep coming. It ain't over yet, baby. And it probably won't stop coming. Thanks again for watching this episode of Rim World of Magic. My name is That, and I will see you in the next video, my dudes.